welcome back to my podcast, or welcome if you're new. My name is Marvelous Marva, and today I wanted to talk about social media and shame. So I titled the video something like, Why You Shouldn't Let Your Social Media Use Shame You or Make You Feel Bad. And I wanted to talk about this because I've just had this revelation over the past maybe like two weeks and I wanted to see if it was you know if it was real or if I was just like just trying to fool myself but basically I have I guess an app that's set up in my phone which I did not set you know like those tracking apps where you can track like your screen time things like that well one day maybe last year Google took it upon itself to start telling me like how many hours I had been using my device. It, like it gives a notification maybe every couple of weeks or so, or maybe once a week. I'm going to say once a week because it would trigger me. Every time I'd get that alert, I'd be like, oh no, and I'd feel so bad. And so I don't know if you have that set up on your phone, if it just set up itself automatically, or if you're just a person that's trying to watch their screen time. But what came to my attention was that this week at least was that I could let that go I could just use my device for the things that I want to use it for and not feel bad about it because there's so many days you know in a year there's so many days in a week and most of the time and this is not to justify it, but most of the time I'm using my device for like learning. I'm constantly learning about human design, astrology, um, gene keys, like anything that's around our, our makeup and how we function like mentally. Like I'm just like all absorbed into that self-help stuff too. And then there's times where I'm using my phone to play. I have a game that I've been playing lately. So I've been playing that game like in down times when I'm not doing anything. I also use it for like yoga and working out. Um, My favorite app that I go to is definitely YouTube. I used to have TikTok. I got rid of TikTok. And that was maybe... It's been a little over a year now since I've been on TikTok. I got rid of TikTok because back then I knew that that was like something that I needed to do. I was led to do it and it was hard to do. It was like a drug, like you're trying to quit a drug and I had to go through all of the steps, the withdrawal and everything of not having my TikTok that I could just like constantly just go to the next video, next video. Not a lot of substance, just a lot of randomness. And whatever I focused on the most, I kept getting more of a loop of, of that and for that that kind of video, you know, like the algorithms, they, they get to learn us. But yeah, it dawned on me this week that, yeah, you don't have to feel bad. So I got the alert on Monday and it was like three hours more use than last week. And for the first time I looked at it and I was like, it's all right. The more we shame ourselves for things is sometimes the longer it takes us to let go of things that, you know, are not serving us. And by, I feel like by letting myself just be okay with the fact that I enjoy looking at things on my device, it's actually helped me to get more focused in regards to being more aware of what I want to look at, what I want to learn about, what I'm using my device for. And then I also allow myself time to actually just have fun, to find some videos that make me laugh or find, you know, a meme that'll make me laugh or whatever, or use it to communicate with people. But I just pulled that, that shame and that feeling of feeling bad, like away, because it's not me that's saying that something's bad. It's what society is telling me that I should be more focused on like my goals and accomplishing this and that and this and that. When in actuality, I'm already focused on those things. I'm taking a moment to do something else and that's okay. 
You can't focus on your goals and striving 24-7. And sometimes in the middle of just relaxing and, and watching like little things here and there on your phone, you get led to doing the things that you need to do to accomplish those goals. I feel like there's umpteen ways that the universe is going to try to help us along our journey. And one of the ways is social media. And I think that we can take away some of that, the feelings that we're kind of like inflicting on ourselves of, you know, not feeling so good about doing it and feeling embarrassed. Like you don't even want to tell people about it because you're like, oh, I've been on it, you know, too long. Like we know inside of our own hearts individually, how much is, you know, enough, what we're looking at and how it's making us feel in each moment, how we can parent ourselves and kind of pull back and refocus and look at things that is really feeding our soul. We know all of these things innately and just making us feel bad about it. It's like when you're on a diet and they tell you, you can't have cake. All you want is cake. But if you let go and say, you can have cake if you want to, then it takes away that urge to like overindulge. And then if you're going to indulge, you start indulging on fruits and vegetables and things that's actually feeding your soul. That's a really good analogy. I'm like over here smiling like, wow, (laughs) that makes a lot of sense to me. So instead of making yourself feel bad for however many hours you're on your device or how much scrolling you're doing or the things that you're looking at, just step back and say it's okay. You're a human, you're having a human experience. All of these things we have created, each of us, somebody created the phone, someone created the internet. We've created all these tools and we're amazing. You know, people are amazing. And for everything that is created, there's gonna be someone that wants to consume those things. And that's okay. We don't have to make ourselves feel bad about it. We can instead tell ourselves that it's okay It's good that you're looking at whatever you're looking at. Sure, go ahead and look at whatever you're looking at and know that, hey, when it's time for me to to pull back, I know that everything's gonna line up and I'll pull back and it's gonna be the right amount. And when it's time for you to focus on something different, like things are just always going to work out. So there's no need to stress and try to make yourself feel bad because making yourself feel bad about things just makes you kind of go the opposite direction from where you're trying to go so I hope this made some sense and gave you some clarity along your journey especially when it comes to scrolling and social media and like all these videos telling us to quit these things I wouldn't even tell a person to quit TikTok don't quit TikTok don't quit Instagram do whatever it is that you want to do if you feel that it's a, a issue for you Tell yourself that it's okay if you look at TikTok or if you look at Instagram. And then also when you're looking at those things, then begin to see how you feel as you're going through it. And if it's something that still is in alignment with you, then you have the green light to keep going. And if it's not, then the fact that you recognize that it's not, the universe is going to help you to slim down or find some find like something good in the thing that you're doing so instead of you just looking at videos of people making fun of people all day now you're looking at videos on how to help people all day like it just happens naturally so don't overcomplicate it allow yourself some grace allow yourself that cookie (laughs) and just know everything's gonna work out And so with that being said, I will end today's podcast here. Um, If you found this useful, if you like hearing my voice, you want to hear more, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to, yeah, subscribe. Subscribe to me on either YouTube. I post on YouTube and also on um, like Spotify. I'll put the links in the description. You can just click on it and I post every week. I've been really consistent with that. So you can look forward to hearing, hearing my voice every week. So wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, have a wonderful one until next time.